So once we've created a basic alignment, now we can start measuring features. So I can move the CAD model around to get it to where I'm going to be able to probe these features. Now I can turn the probe off and on by this translate mode icon. So if I click that, the stylus goes away and this turns it back on, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to start with this center diameter. So I just click on the surface and I need to rotate the model around as I'm clicking. I'm just going to do three points. And you can see how when I rotate it, I get a good view of that feature and I can click on there. And again, when I'm done measuring, I click end and it builds that feature on the left side of the screen. Now, from my drawing, most of the, so I can't pan around until I turn the probe off. So I'm going to turn the probe off so I can pan around. So now I'm going to change the location of my origin to that center diameter as I probe these four diameters because that's where they're dimensioned from and it's just going to help me get a better view of that. So I'm going to go insert alignment and new. Create a new alignment. I'm going to select my circle from my features menu. And I'm going to click the X and the Y and I'm going to click on origin and it translates that trihedron to that diameter. So that's my new XY origin and it builds it up on the top part of the screen and I can click OK. So now I've translated my location. Now I'm going to measure those four diameters. So I just click on the program mode. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so I can see those features and I can see my vector that looks good. Just hit those three points and I click in. I'm going to go to the next one. Just take three points and click in. Go to the next one. And the better I probe this, the better result I'm going to get. So you need to be kind of careful how you do it. Click in, and you can see it's building all of those circles on my edit screen on the left. So I just keep probing, rotating the model, and I click in as I'm doing that. So now I probe those three diameters. So now I'm going to start probing other features that I need to measure. So one of them is this slot in the front. So I'm going to take a probe point on the left and you can see it's creating a point over here on the left for the left side of that slot. And then I probe one on the right and I press end. And I'm going to do one on the back because I have a dimension in the back. Now you can click on these tags and you can move those. And then I'm going to click on the back here and click end. Now, so I'm going to probe this slot right here. So I'm going to do that as two lines. So I always want to go in the same direction. So I click on that surface once and twice and then end for my first line. And now I'm going to rotate my model down. And I'm going to click from the front to the back and click end. And then I've completed the measurement of that feature. So the next feature I'm going to measure is this sphere. So to pan around I need to turn my probe off again so I click up on that translate mode. So now I can move it around to get a better view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, turn my probe back on, and I'm going to measure that as five points. So I just click on there I get five and press in and it measures it as a sphere. The next feature I'm going to do is this angled feature. So I'm just going to click a line on that and do two points for a line and click end. All right, the next feature I want to measure is this surface because I have a depth and location from the top surface down. So I just click on that, measure it as a single point and I press end. So now I'm done measuring features. The next part of this video is going to be about reporting results. So we'll take care of that in the next video.